Today we're max buffing the middle path beast handler. How long will each of its upgrades survive? We'll find out here. Once again, check out the playlist for all the other max buff towers I've done. I've done a lot of them at this point. Most of the strong ones, that is. Except for this one, because, well, it's technically the newest tower. And I guess I haven't gone around to it yet. And it's probably going to be the strongest of all the remaining towers I haven't done yet. If you've already seen previous videos of how the uh, middle path beast performs, uh, spoiler alert, it's pretty good. Let's see how good the max buff Microraptor is, though, against his EMG. It's crazy how something so small can do this much damage, uh, that's what she said. But yeah, with the many loops to resort, it looks like uh, we should be able to clean up the yellows here when the EMG is on the way around, right? Uh, Pierce Cap issue? Nope. Just barely survives 80. Now it's a good time to bring up that, yes, we're doing Resort instead of Logs. Basically, any tower that does damage within a small radius is almost always better on Resort. So, for example, Ice uh, Attack Shooter. Ice Tower too, you know, but that doesn't really uh, work well for a max buff. But, yeah, you know what I mean. Even though we can target the uh, Beast Handler to pretty much go anywhere on the map, it's still better to have it locked in one place that's really, really good as opposed to have it you know, the opportunity to go to eight different places that are not as good as that one spot. At least that's the way I see it. So uh, one thing to clarify is that um, I do have the out buff on the Beast Handler. The only way you can do this is with a bug, but because I'm lazy to pull off the bug, I just had a mod enabled that allows me just to out buff the Beast without, you know, doing any shenanigans. So uh, that's nice and easy for us. And, you know, the usual Golden Village mod for uh, the True Sun God buffs and Call the Arms Homeland Overclocks. You know everything at this point, mostly. Uh, we leaked some lives there for round 82. Don't really expect this to last much longer. This rate probably dead to 84, if I had to guess. But nonetheless, still pretty strong. I think mid-80s is what's expected for, uh, uh, in general, uh, low tier towers. I think I remember doing some 000 tower tests like a long time ago. And yeah, these were about the rounds they died on. I think, yeah, these BFBs here are pretty much game. The thing is, with the tier 1 beast, you can't, you know, increase the merge radius. Or rather, the place radius, because you can't merge towers. If you didn't know, you get extra range if you can merge, uh, beasts. Let me try to micro here to see if I can save myself. Nope. 85 is done. But basically, if you don't know already, what I mean is this. If I buy add a source, I now have the ability to, uh, merge three different beast standards at tier 1. Or at least power 1 to the, uh, add a source. But I'm not gonna do it right now, because if you haven't seen my previous max buff test, I like to do a progression. So we'll start off with a 3 out of 6 add a source, and then we'll do the max one. Once we see this thing start to struggle. Apparently, what, from what I've heard, Max Adasaurus is pretty cracked. And I probably should start using it more, like, outside of these tests. Just for, like, early game runs. Because I've seen a lot of people uh, start to use this thing lately. Especially when money's tight. And, uh, yeah, it seemed pretty good. So don't sleep on the Adasaurus, folks. Let alone pretty much any middle path or tier on this middle path. Because, honestly, all, all of them are great. Tier 2 and above. And I honestly would say, like, none of them are... None of the upgrades individually are widely OP. They're all pretty much, like, really good in their own right, so... Uh, that's very cool. Very cool to have in a middle path tower and not have it be nerfed to the ground. By NK, aka Top Path. <clears throat> Anyways, my spidey senses are starting to, um... Sense that we are uh, going to lose soon. And, uh, I was right. Ice App stars the next Spider-Man movie confirmed. So let me just see if I can do a little bit of a micro here, like... Moving the, uh, Adasaurus a bit up. I think it's honestly doable with a bit of micro, but I think we're just going to move on to the uh, max test. Because even if it be this round, it probably dies next round. So, uh, here's what I mean. I'm not going to uh, merge uh, a whole Adasaurus. I'm going to uh, get some extra beasts here. So I have a, a lot more range to work with. So basically, the ranges just have to touch. For us to basically have uh, um, nearly full map coverage on our Adasaurus. As you see, place it here, 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 here. That gives us a lot of wiggle room to work with, and here's, uh, the difference. 6 out of 6 versus 3 out of 6. Pretty good stuff, it seems. Yeah, not even close this round. Seems like definitely more than a 2x power spike, if you had to ask me. That would make sense, because I'm pretty sure with, when merging, you get attack speed, you get damage, uh, what else am I missing? Pierce? You get all that good stuff, along with when you get T-Rex ability cooldown and stun duration. Sounds like music to my ears. Anyways, uh, let's see if the Atosaurus can handle a 95 here. I don't know how big the chop radius is at tier 2, but I'm pretty sure it's fine to leave it at first. Although it may not be getting right in the center of everything at one point, but that seems good to me. Yep, don't mind Adasaurus casually chomping down a majority 98. I'm not sure if I have to do any micro here to beat this round, but it seems like no. 
we are cooking. I feel like we might have to do some for FT2, though. So yeah, I'll do one here now. And then back uh, here. For the boots. But, yep, need some more micro here. I think the solution here is I just target on strong for DTs, uh, and then uh, see where to go from there. Switch to first if I see any Serams leaking. Come on, I see a couple of Serams leaking here. I gotta make sure I also use Called Arms, because uh, restarting the round messes some stuff up. Back on first. It is so close. Last ET. I guess one thing I could do is start really, really early, so uh, I'm putting the Atosaurus all the way up here. For heaven's sake. That should buy us a little bit more time. At least I would hope. So, let's see. Let's just get the Serams here, I think. I want to worry about that first. Uh, call Arms now. Here. Come on. Nope. Uh, have it on first. Back over here. Nope. It's one every single time. I think we'll call it 99 for uh, the ad source. Okay, and now for the V-Raptor. As annoying as it is, I guess I'll sell the Beast Atmosphere just to... Uh, Showcase the raw power of the base V Raptor without any buffs, or rather any merging. Should definitely be stronger than an Atosaurus, right? It actually kind of looks like it's doing about as well as it. If not, no, it's worse. Well, that's not what you, what you like to see. I'll call the arms here. Yeah. Would you look at that? I don't think I did anything uh, differently, did I? No, I didn't lose any stacks or anything. It just wasn't simply as strong, which is interesting. Uh, I'll leave it on strong now, maybe. With 11 out of 24, just keeping all the beast sandals. I think this, this this beats it this time, right? I think so. A uh, bit of micro. Oh, actually, still no. Wow. Okay, how about I apply the same concept, the same micro pattern as with the Atosaurus? And yep, that looks like a lot better to me, right? There we go. Still honestly kind of surprising that the Velociraptor didn't, didn't give us uh, much more damage than the Atosaurus. And now I have to take a look at the single target DPS of 11 out of 24. Only, had, only 374 DPS. I say only because I guess that's not too great when you have all the buffs being given to the world, but that makes sense. And it'll take a while, but we're finally going to be able to beat the bad on uh, right about getting to the third loop. Nice. So if it struggled to 99, I'm pretty sure the next sign of Fortified DTs is GG, so round 102. That was fast. But I guess that just means now we can pump it up to max. So here we go. 24 out of 24. Let's see it in action. It should be a lot better against Fortified DTs now, right? Yep, that's eating it really quickly. It's got to do with the attack speed, because I'm pretty sure like when you... Uh, Upgrade for Atosaurus to Velociraptor. You don't get much attack speed increase. It's really just damage, which doesn't scale as well. When you have already, you know, flat damage buffs being given. So, I guess this is not too surprising. Again, and again, unsurprisingly, with higher merging, Velociraptor is going to uh, get a lot more higher rounds than it did originally. With it being able to do, I think I'm seeing up to 20,000 DPS. Yes, I enabled this mod mid-game. Again, for those out of the loop, this is basically just uh, a visual to see how much DPS... Each tower was doing, and I think I saw a 50k at one peak, but I don't think we're going to see it again. Actually, I think I saw it flash for a brief second. Like, damn, if the tier 3 can already do 50k DPS, I'm delighted to see what the higher tiers can do. Well, let's see for one if it can handle these uh, DDTs here. I have it set to strong. Switch to first now. Just barely not enough, though. Well, it's micro ring time, so we're starting in the middle here. Uh, Leave it on strong. Back to first. I think that's going to be enough. Let's see. I let one DT leak because... Or one Saram leak because I... Uh, had to push up earlier, and that's good. I forgot to reset the lives after every single new upgrade we're buying, so I'm just having this uh, Wall Street here. Just to get us back up to full slowly. Anyways, as you saw, the 11 out of 24 was like 370 DPS. We're doing uh, 1,000 now, so not too shabby. I think we can probably beat two of three DTs. I'm not seeing a lot of damage on the third one. Yeah, I don't think this is going to happen, unfortunately. Or actually, there might be a chance. There might be a chance. But the micro is going to be on point. So let's wait for this to pop. There we go. Back at first. I probably should get one more handler just so I can sneak some range in on uh, those EMGs there because that would be nice. Uh, now for the ending. Uh, BFBs, Moabs, and nice. With a bit of micro, 119 is possible. I think we might be in danger for 128, though. Again, fortified DTs are the bane of the middle path beast existence. And yep, I don't even think it's close at all. Because we had homeland active the entire time. We're going to go straight to the T-Rex. And I'm not even sure this is going to be enough. Because again, we don't have enough cooldown reduction on the stun. I'm pretty sure. I will try to time it, though. Let's see. No, I think I think on Resort, the stun is a bit worse of a race for Tier 4. Because I can't get that bottom left corner. I think I have to, like... 
get it close to max T-Rex. Otherwise, it won't work. Let me try putting a new beast over here so that I have some extra Merge Race. Perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. Pretty much global range now. So let's just get a max to 64 to 64 to get it over with. And also uh, reset some abilities because my homeland is inactive for this round. And yeah, unsurprisingly, again, with merging and with that attack speed, T-Rex can do it. And don't forget, too, that I don't need to just use the stun for DTs or if I'm in danger, because this increases the damage of every balloon by 30%. That is a stun bonus for T-Rex. It'd be nice if I had it for, like, everything. Like, even if it's not the just the ability. But obviously, since it's a solo max buff test, can't do that. This cooldown is insanely fast, by the way, especially when you add Energizer to the mix. Like, holy... Like, if I'm doing the math or the counting correctly, this is like a 15 second cooldown. That is insane. Like, one stun, and before you know it, it's up again. So, I think I might as well just, like, spam it off cooldown unless I need a desperate for DTs. But this is nice. I think this allows to go very, very far. 138, though, I think we might need a little bit uh, fast cooldown on the stun. I tried to time the stun. I think that's, that was a pretty good timing. But I might die to these DTs here. That loop around, come on. Uh, stun again? I think I'm dead. Or not? Mmm, close. Okay, many tries later, still can't do it, damn. It was looking so good earlier, but I guess DT is just a major roadblock. So with that, I think it's time to upgrade. Upgrade it to the Giga. Let's get it. And I'm excited to see how much longer this will survive. And I hope this doesn't disappoint, because I think to, to disappoint, it would need to fall before round 180. So that's a huge leap. From tier 4 to tier 5, but I think the price cost justifies how we're doing now. Look at that, just one-shotting DTs and all that. So, yeah. 17k single target DPS. So that tells me we're in for a long time, and not just a good time. And for the funsy, let me just try the stun again. Cooldown should be... Uh, I feel like it's actually a little bit slower than T-Rex. Well, that would make sense, because I haven't max merged yet. Which is kind of funny, that, like, you know, at a higher power, technically, quote-unquote, 64 versus 92... The cooldown technically comes a little bit slower, but I think it comes back to normal once you get the 132 out of 132. So yeah, keep in mind this is not even the its maximum power yet. I guess we'll go ahead and just try to save some of that power later on. In the meantime, just go ahead and watch 92 shred. It's hard to get a gauge of just how much its true single target DPS or just overall DPS is going to be. I think I saw 166k. We'll be able to see it clearly once there is more balloons on the screen that the... Uh, Giga will slowly fall behind too, but so far, still so good. Here is round 174. Yep, I think I'm starting to see a little bit of struggle now. Bad's getting to loop number two. I haven't really been using my stun ability though, so I should definitely make sure to do that. But the thing is, it doesn't give you the extra damage to Bad's, because obviously, Bad's can't get stunned. I'm pretty sure it, it doesn't apply the plus 30, unless you actually stun that blimp. So, that's unfortunate. Frankly, I think we have the DT problem solved, because I'm pretty sure the Giga... Still has the ability to two-shot DDTs, four to five DDTs at this stage. I guess when it gets to three-shotting stage, they might start being dangerous, but I think our biggest danger right now are the purple balloons. Because as you know in this game, uh, towers are weak to uh, balloons of the same color. That was sarcastic, by the way. Anyways, round 180, we are able to get through. And maybe I spoke too soon here, but I see DDTs leaking. Let's go ahead and use a stun here. It's nice that we get global range on the stun. Um, man, those DTs are fast, but we clutched it up. Like, even though the Giga has full map range stun, it's important to still stun them in range that they can still chomp them, because, like, stunning the DTs out there doesn't do anything unless I retarget the uh, Giga. Like, again, I use it right now, for example. Get all those DTs pop before they uh, become any danger at all to us. And 185 here, oh, that was close. <laughs> A little bit too close to call. You think it's time to pull the max Giga? I think so. I'll try to see if I can squeeze one more round out of this, though. So, because this is the only thing left. Micro, micro, micro. Until I can't no more. And make sure to stun DTs. Now. And we got 185 done. Alright, cool. So, because I have full my range, it doesn't really matter where I place these, uh, beasts. I think I need three? Uh, just one more V Raptor, and there it is. We have capped the Giga's powers, and uh, I'm seeing 250k DPS on the first round that we got it on. With room for more, 328k. What a difference 40 power makes. Yeah, we're popping bads uh, without any micro now. Whereas with 92, we need to do some heavy micro to survive. And even DTs there we saw. Giga is back to 2-shotting or 3-shotting them. Hard to tell. But I think with the increased attack speed, 
that is also helping a lot too, not helping making TTs get past uh, the bend. As you see, uh, 430k DPS, I saw. Also, I don't know if it's just me, but let me just try stunning and see how long it lasts relative to the, uh, uh, well, Giga Stun. I think it's about, it's nearly half for ZMGs, as you see. That's pretty good, I would say. Being able to stun uh, Blimps for half the time. And yeah, let me just test one more time here. Yeah, it looks like it's back to the tier 4 uh, duration length. So good to know we got that reliability back. We'll use another stun here for that DT. And I think at this point, round 200 is looking very much doable. We'll go ahead and just use stuns off cooldown for uh, rounds like these. And even rounds with bad, sure. Because right now I still have a turret on the first. I think it's it's fine on first because, again, the chomp radius does increase per tier, right? So I'm pretty sure it's doing damage to every single balloon here, despite them being... Uh, I guess fairly far apart. Uh oh, uh, looks like I have to do some time in this round. I actually survived though. It looked like it was going through. But I guess we got it the last chomp. Say hello to the single target DPS on a single bad. 25k. So that's compared to 17 if of the 92, if I remember correctly. I guess I'll go ahead and use a stun too, since I guess it's free damage, even if it is very little in the grand scheme of things. Uh, first one's looking good, second one, I'm not sure about, but I think this is definitely a good time to. Uh, Put in strong just to guarantee I know I am targeting this one specifically. Uh, I gotta do light micro here, I guess, for the FMOAB. And yeah, I'll take a bit of micro, but we got this, guys. We got this. I'll make sure to move it here and get ready to stun. And just like that, we've got a candidate for uh, strongest max buff tower. Only the very best can get to round 200 plus. So that should give you some idea of the company we're working with uh, this round. I did the thing where the DTs got stunned out of range, so I'm just going to do some very, very, very light micro. In fact, we had to focus so hard on the fortified DT or bad last round that now normal bads are starting to become a small bit of a problem. Actually, did I say small problem? More like a big problem because we are dangerously close to losing here. I'll stun. And we got a clutch up here. Nice. Yeah, any round with a fortified bad with bads is just a huge waste of energy. Like, put into trying to pop that F-bad that even bads get scary. Because I'm looking closely, and it does look like the Chomp Radius isn't big enough to get the entire square there. Because I saw that, um, that no bad was taking a long time to pop when I was targeting the F-bad only. And we got, uh, the, the no bad, but how about this one? I think we can do it with some good micro, so wait for it, wait for it. Uh, now, if we could beat, uh, normal bad, surely we can do the la last? Nope. That combined with the fact that I had the, uh, call arms up. It's probably why I died there. I don't think this is any better, folks. Nope. That was a bit worse of a run. Even if it falls here, I'd say this is still a very impressive amount of rounds that the, uh, Giga got to. I think, uh, because we can't, like, manipulate the bad speed, all three look, like, spaced apart that we're only, uh, really damaging one at a time. Like, you gotta see here. Because the DPS is still at 25k, we're not hitting two bats at once. I mean, it's actually impossible to hit two at once here from what I'm seeing. Yeah, that's uh, unfortunate. Yeah, every subsequent run is getting worse and worse and worse. I'll see if I can somehow clutch it, though. Nope. All right, come. I guess whenever possible, we try to get the ZMGs and the bad in the same shot. Yeah, it's just not happening, I don't think. Well, it was a good run around 202. I don't remember off the top of my head, but I'm pretty sure that's top 10 of all the uh, max buffs so far. So, pretty good. But I guess if you take in the cost of all the other uh, tier 4 beasts that are needed to get max power, then uh, this is pretty much top 10 in tier 5 cost, so uh, that sounds about right then. Well, this was a lengthy test of all the upgrades, so I hope you enjoyed the uh, max buff middle beast action. Again, check out the playlist if you missed the other ones, and uh, if you uh, want a tier 5 tower that you want me to max buff next that I haven't done yet, then let me know. Otherwise, see you next time.